Tony D with book 15 of the Pineys, and we are going to be talking about it. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out the Pineys at Amazon, books 1 to 15. All right. So, uh, the current book, book 15, is called La Casa Nostra Piney, and this is um, the, basically the Pineys versus Mafia guys. So uh, I can't tell you too much of the story without giving it away, but I can tell you the following. Uh, one of the characters in the Pineys owed money to the mob for many, many books. And finally, those chickens have come home to roost. Uh, we introduced some mob characters earlier on in the series. They come back, and uh, we tie it into a bunch of North Jersey legends, uh, specifically things like uh, the Devil's Tower, um, Clifton Road is mentioned, uh, and um, a hotel that used to be owned by Al Capone called the Royal Pine, or Royal Pines, and that was converted into a hospital in the modern day. So there's a bunch of different elements here uh, connected to the Mafia and uh, connected to the Pineys. Now, you might ask, uh, why did I do such a crazy book? Well, number one, Mafia and New Jersey kind of go hand in hand, mostly North Jersey. Um, there was a, there's always been rumors that the Mafia buried bodies in the Pine Barrens because it's a big, desolate area. And every time they mention that, they always mention the Sopranos episode uh, that took place in the Pine Barrens. I forget what it was called, where uh, Pauline Walnuts and Christopher get stuck in the Pine Barrens. If you watch that episode, however, you'll notice that theres I don't think there's a single pine tree in it. So I don't think they actually shot it in the Pine Barrens. I think they shot it in a, some woods up north, uh, judging by the trees in the background. But um, it's a good episode. It was directed by Steve Buscemi, in fact. Um, the... The story, uh, more than that, I don't really want to give away, but there's a lot of stuff from Weird New Jersey in it, um, you know, or a lot of uh, tales from Weird New Jersey that I connect into it. And um, my background for writing Mafia stuff is that I wrote a uh, game book called Complete Mafia for D20, and that covered the history of the Mafia from 1282 to the modern day. Um, and so in order to write that book, I had to know quite a lot about the history of, uh, the mafia, which doesn't exist, of course. And, um, so, uh, a lot of that history, or at least the part that's connected to New Jersey is in here. So for instance, I learned, uh, not too long ago that Al Capone, uh, may have owned a hotel called the Lake House down in Vineland, which is still there. And it used to be a four-story hotel. Now it's two stories, and it's a banquet hall and a bar. Still a very nice place. But back in the day, in Al's day, uh, it was really in a, a remote area. It was a re resort far away from everybody else. And there was a lake. And so the rumor was Al, you know, got rid of some of his associates in the lake. Um, I don't. I think that story is mostly apocryphal. But you don't know because... It was an extremely remote location other than the hotel at that time, and Al was extremely powerful. So it could be that there are some bodies down and way at the bottom. Um, I don't think any have been found, but uh, the locals there know the lake house pretty well, and I've been there a couple of times, actually. It's a nice place. Nice place. Um, but... Um, the Mafia stuff, uh, my Mafia knowledge came in pretty handy for this book uh, because doing uh, not only Complete Mafia for D20, which you can look up on Amazon, uh, I also wrote a book called F.U. I'm Italian, which is a funny book of it, about Italian heritage, which also has a Mafia chapter in it. And, um, and I'm Italian. So the, uh, the mannerisms and the, the sort of attitude that the North Jersey guys have in this story. I have down pretty well, I think. So um, they, uh, you know, are running amok almost as much as the Pineys in their own way. Uh, but they have sort of different uh, uh, different priorities 
if you know what I mean. And uh, that comes out in the story. So uh, the Pineys, of course, on some level get along very good with them, but on other levels, yeah, not so much. And um, uh, it was interesting to do. And I and I did want to do a North Jersey story. I know it's Taylor Ham country, but yeah, once in a while we have to acknowledge our northern brethren. Um, but I thought it would be fun to uh, include some of the North Jersey legends and uh, sort of acknowledge them before having uh, the Pineys come back. Uh, the only other time we went to North Jersey, you may remember, is in Book 11, uh, where um, the characters go to Menlo Park, where Thomas Edison was from. And you all know that story if you've read the series. Uh, so what's next? Well... Next up, book 16 is going to be short stories. Uh, so another short story one with a bunch of different things. Uh, you're going to see a uh, surprise return of two characters you may or may not be familiar with. Um, you will see um, uh, more legends that are kind of shorter. And you're going to see, just like in book 10, an overarching um, sort of tie-in to the various... Um, short stories so you saw that in book 10 right there was like there was initial initial sort of several stories and then uh they kind of all tie in at the end uh in fact i had someone tonight at the millville public library ask me about book 10 she was about i think she was about four or five stories in and uh she wanted to know what happened to lewis in book 10. um lewis in book 10 gets um uh, a cursed item. This is a purse made from human skin. Um, this is a story that about Le, uh, Antonien LeBlanc, who was a French immigrant who murdered a farm couple in the 1800s and their servant and was hung. And as was customary at the time, they made souvenirs out of his skin. And the rumor is these souvenir purses still exist in secret collections in South Jersey. So Lewis gets a hold of one of these purses and it has a it has some powers, but it has a terrible, terrible curse. So um, she was wondering what happens to Lewis, because she thought I she was confused that I didn't finish the story. I said, "Oh no, no, no! There's more to the story. You got to keep reading, because we keep sort of uh, during the course of the ten stories, we keep stopping back and checking in on Lewis, and then finally towards the end, we get uh, conclusion of what happens to him." So, um, but with uh, the Pineys book 15, you got one big story, very much like a movie or a, uh, a long episode of a TV show, I guess you could say. I try to write them like TV shows, I tell people. So it always has the cousins in it, uh, the four main cousins, and a few handful of the others are in it as well. We also introduce uh, a new family member. Uh, so I'll let you be surprised for that. He, he makes a brief appearance. Uh, you'll be seeing him. You know, I don't like to inundate people with too many relatives. There's a, there's a lot of Galloways. Uh, but I did want to mention this one because he may, uh, he's probably going to show up again in a later book. Uh, probably to be more important than he is right now. Um, as far as the Mafia characters, will they be back? Uh, yeah, probably. Probably, uh, We'll have the, some mob guys peek in on occasion. Um, but this is going to uh, change things for Cousin Lewis. And uh, I'll let you decide if it changes it for the better. Uh, I think it will in the long run, but we'll see. I don't know. You know, when I write these things, I, I sometimes don't know where I'm going until I'm into the story. And I got some ideas for Lewis and... Uh, the upcoming books for next year, um, and of course, 16, which will be out in October. So I'm not sure what the cover is going to be for October. It's tough to do the cover for the, uh, um, what's the name, the, 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 the short stories. Because I guess it kind of has to be a character that ties it all in. So I guess, uh, yeah, the cover on 10 was a character that sort of ties it all in. So maybe. Maybe I could do that for uh, for ten. I, I just thought of something. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm gonna start working on uh, book sixteen again. 
So I'm happy to say I'm very excited about book 15. Uh, if you have anybody out there you'd like to review it, uh, get in contact with me. Always, always could use a good review. If you if you purchase it at Amazon and you like it, please leave a good review. If you didn't like it, thank you for purchasing. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it is, of course, available on Kindle as well. Uh, will I ever get to the audiobook for 15? I don't know, man. Whew, I, I still got a bunch of books to go. I'm really behind on the audiobooks. I know. I should do another one. But, man, it took me so long to do the first one. I uh, One of these days, I got to do it. I, I keep saying on Christmas because usually I'm not busy on Christmas. But last Christmas, I was pretty busy. I was pretty crazy busy, so... Maybe this year will be the year I'll finally get back into it. Um, but thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about Book 15 or the Pineys, feel free to mention it in the comments or shoot me an email. You can always find me at thepineys.com. And you can always find me at the various events around South Jersey. Tomorrow I'll be at the Alpaca Farm, uh, Unexpected Farm at 7 p.m. And I'll be doing my talk on how to hunt the Jersey Devils sometime around quarter of eight, maybe. Sometime like that, uh, they're going to do an event uh, preceding that. And nothing going on this weekend. So what the heck am I going to do with myself? I'm going to have to go to the Pines and do some research. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.